All right, hello guys, welcome back to The Sacred Cottage. My name is Tiffany Meshek, and today I'm gonna to show you guys another little bit of an Amazon haul that I have gotten. Oh, there is a headphone. Maybe is there a headphone jack on here? I'm not really sure. Um, so, as you know, I am a spiritualist and I love diving into all these different types of religions and various things like that. Now, I am not going to be uh, perfect in this or anything like that, mostly because I really don't conform to said rules of religion um, or anything like that. So um, I do respect the rules of religion, but there are times where uh, myself personally in my own study and growth and things like that, I'm learning how to do various things. So this is kind of a Muslim haul because you guys can see it on my channel that I have been reading the Quran um, and various things like that, trying to understand the the religion. In oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. So I got um, the Muslim prayer beads. This is a 33 bead set. This is done in Indian uh, agate, I believe. So there's all kinds of different colors, so it'll literally go with absolutely every single outfit that I wear and such. And so these are, it's basically, um, these these are kind of like rosary beads. You pray in, in repetitions of 33, um, and you have like three different prayers that you pray. Again, I'm just learning the Muslim prayers, so... Um, it's going to take me a while to get used to certain things. Another thing that I got was these. These are the Arabic alphabet. Um, they are cards which are to help you learn the letters of the Arabic alphabet. You can shuffle them up and things like that. They're really difficult to get out of these, like, really snug. Yeah, I'm just going to have to tear the box top, unfortunately, because that's, that's really hard to get into. Okay, there we go. There he got into it. And so these cards, and I'll have everything that I got in a list down below. So, um, these are, it, this is kind of, this is a list of Arabic alphabet. So this is almost kind of like a little cheat sheet or an overall chart for you to kind of like look over and go through. And then, It gets into the flashcard of what it is, and then on the back, this one says that it's Aleph. Um, this has the Ah sound, and then it says order of one, pronunciation consonant, um, glotal, uh, glo glotal stop, pronunciation vowel as in father, and then it shows the different forms in which this is written and how it's written. It does the same thing with all these. There's a line. There's a line on the bottom so that it shows you where the um, the alphabet should be written on the line. So again, this one is ba, is in uh, bay, and this is an order to pronunciation b as in as in bay, ba. And then it shows you the different forms that which you can write it and which you can use it. And it does that for all of the um, all of the lettering system. So I got that specifically so that I could start learning actually how to pronounce words and start to learn the Arabic writing of the Quran because I guess it's like a whole thing within and of itself. Now this is one of the bigger purchases that I got. So this is a um, ebook. I don't know why my packages are like destroyed. I mean literally the the one prayer mat was absolutely destroyed. Um so this is a this is an electronic pen that I got and it seems like it's people, you know, they've used it and they put it back into the box and various things like that. So I'm not really sure um if this is even in working order or whatnot. But this is the electronic pen. And I need to know where Place the batteries? Does it already have? Oh, I forgot that it's chargeable. Okay, because I had. So it turns on, and then you can decide what it is in. Ibrahim. 
Oh, that's the record. That's the recording button. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna have to get used to that. So this is a small talking dictionary that it comes with, and the electronic pen is supposed to be where it can you can read the. And here it's got a page where it says in English. English. Dutch. Turkish. Japanese. English. So you can hear these things in English. So like uh this one is happy happy Eddie. Happy happy Eid. Happy Eid. And things like that. So if you wanted to actually hear what it sounded like in Arabic. Arabic. Eid Sa'id. That's pretty cool. Eid Sa'id. This one is have a nice holiday. And then, you know, so like you can learn like little phrases and certain things like that in, in Arabic. This one... I believe is um, their prayers, maybe? I'm not really sure, but this it comes with this book. Let's see what it says. Sahih al-Bukhari. Let me put this in English really quickly. English. And see, literally, it recognizes on the top of the pamphlet, just pointing to the flag, which one it sets to. So if we go back to this. Sahih al-Bukhari. Nope. Oh, it's not going to. Oh, okay, here we go. So on the bottom of the books, it has a play thing right here so you can play or you can record the voice so you can just go and then you can adjust the volume make it go down or you can make the volume go up or you can just play the page it looks like Maybe. Sahih al Bukhari. Haddathana Abu Nuayn. Qala Haddathana Ibn Uyayna. An Amrin an Jabir ibn Zayd. An Ibn Abbas. An Al Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa Maymuna. Kana yagtasim. And then, of course, you can stop it. Haddathana. Haddathana Khamsa ibn Muhammad. Maybe. Qala Jamil ibn Muhammad. Um, but I'm not really sure what this is. Again, I can't, I can't read the, the language or whatnot. I think the language is gorgeous. And I, and I think it's fantastic, honestly, that they've got it to where you can, you can sing it. Um, they've got also, this is the Hajja and Ura, I think is how you say that, U Uram, U Umra, so something like that, Umra. So then you could just... And you can follow along with it. Now, it does actually come with a pair of headphones, but I'm pretty sure any headphone is... Um, you know, usable with this. Comes with a charging cable, and it also comes with its own little power block. God, you can see how dirty this is in this, this little velvet pouch thing. Another thing that it comes with is this. This is the His Hisul Muslim. So it's got Arabic with English, and I think this is part of when you get into the actual prayers. It's not going to read it. So maybe this is just like one of the things that you look at. Because this one also is a, uh, it's the prayers for Salah. It's a guide for daily dua adkar. And then 
these are the actual prayers and stuff like that. I do believe that this one, you put it on right here. So you can go. Um, and then, of course, it also has uh, the English. So if you want to listen to it in English, wherever it may be, there it is, English. In the name of Allah, the most... All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship. Guide us to the straight way. The way of those on whom you have bestowed your favor. And then of course... those who earned your anger. I love his voice. Uh, but then it has like play and play and pause where you can. Play and pause. Of course, it's not going to do it when I'm trying to show on the video. But yeah, so these are like all the prayers and everything like that that they say, um, the the Hindu prayers and such. And then, of course. The more valuable item in the box, which this is actually a really nice box. One of the reasons why I got it in a box is so that I could keep it in a box. Like, like how how nice is this Quran, you guys? This is absolutely fantastic, and it's super well illustrated, and it's all colored, all color coordinated for people who need to have the color coordinated. And again, here is on the bottom where it shows you how to play, pause, one, two, and three, things like that. Let me see if I can turn this actually down for you guys while I am show you guys my little bit of a mess of a desk right here. So again, you have your volume up, your volume down. And then you have your play and your pause. Which play and pause, to, for some reason, does not seem to be working. If you could but see when they will be held over the hellfire, they will say, if only we were but sent back to the world, then we would not deny the signs and revelations of our Lord, and we would be of the believers. And they prevent others from following the Prophet Muhammad, and they themselves keep away from him. And by doing so, they destroy nothing but themselves, yet they do not perceive it. And of them there are some who listen to you, but we have set veils on their hearts, so they do not understand, and deafness in their ears. If they see every one of the signs and revelations, they will not believe in them, to the point that when they come to you to argue with you, the disbelievers say, these are nothing but tales of the men of old. Surah al In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most I wonder what this star is right here. There's a star here. That is so. And whoever has retaliated with the like of that, which he was made to suffer, and then has again been wrong. Allah will surely help you. Indeed, Allah is oft pardoning, oft forgiving. And so, of course, if we go into um, Arabic, where is it? Arabic. Come on. Is it not doing it? I don't know. I'll have to play around with it. But that's basically um, the 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 Quran and things like that. So that's the little uh, adapter thing that I got. It's it's nice that it comes with the bookmark. So that you can keep your place and such. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's really pretty, and I do like the fact that it is color coded. And then again, it also has some things here in the very back of the actual Quran in itself. So yeah, I think these are some of the prayers again in the back of the book. Again, I'm not too well versed or studied in the Quran or anything like that, but that is something like this. This is a gorgeous Quran. I, I think that this is absolutely stunning. I mean, just the, the artwork and to look at it is, is very pleasing, and I think it'll definitely be very helpful for that. So the next thing that I got, let me move back my camera. The next thing that I got is... I actually have to get it. An electronic prayer mat. Now, the electronic prayer mat that I got is not like the one that I've been seeing on... Um... I'm just going to turn off my electronic pen. There it goes. There it turns off. So this is not like the electronic prayer mats that you've actually seen, you know, floating around that are really nice. Even though this one does work and this one does show you at the very top what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but you can see, uh, like, literally the box that I got it in was absolutely crushed um, and stuff. So I'm actually surprised that this works. But on top here, you've got a little compass um, for those of you who pray in the direction of Mecca or in the, in the direction of Jerusalem or however you want to pray. Um, and various things like that. And then, of course, this is also censored um, towards everything that you need. So if we turn it on. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty sensitive. So you can do... Down here, as you can see, like I said, it's very sensitive. Down here, you've got like your world languages and stuff like that, so you have it in English and everything like that. And I'm just moving it around, and it's 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 picking up the sensitivity. And you have all the things you have on here. You have the the your five prayers or whatever of the day. You have your morning, noon, night, afternoon, mid morning, uh, things like that. Then you also um, have the what is this called? Dua? Dua on. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam. Tabarakta ya bijjalali wa l-ikram. La ilaha illa Allah wa ahdahu la shari. Allahumma taqabbal minna salih al-a'mal. Yeah, that, that was really loud. I don't know how to turn it off the echo, too, because I turned it on the echo, like, once and everything like that, and now all of a sudden everything is echo, and I, I really don't like that that feature on it. But yeah, so this is an electronic prayer mat that I got. It is foldable and everything, um, but again, it is, it is exceptionally sensitive um, to touch and various things like that. I mean, literally... I was trying it out just to see if it would actually work, and my cat just walking around the mat totally changed the prayer uh, and stuff like that. So you're definitely going to have to, if you have animals or anything like that, make sure that they cannot get to your prayer mat when you are praying because it will interrupt the prayer and things like that. But I do like the fact that it shows um, very up close pictures right here. And so, like, um, you know, when people get down to, like, this point, you're actually supposed to point your finger, like, down to the ground and certain things like that. It's got that circled on the actual prayer mat in itself so that it shows you what you're supposed to be doing. And then it's, of course, you know, turn to the right and then turn to the left. And so this does actually light up. And then, of course, it's got a prayer count right here. How many times, I guess, the cycles go through the prayer and, and things like that so that you can kind of keep um, count on your, on your prayers. So again, I'm not going to be expected to be perfect in this particular form of prayer, mostly because of what I found out in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran does talk about um, that it doesn't matter what direction that you actually pray to, and I'm actually going to tell you what scripture that one is. This is my uh, study Quran. I had to move everything over into highlighters uh, and things like that just because... Um, I had too many sticky notes, and I, I was getting lost in my points and various things like that when I am looking this up. So let me get to 
because I have I have all my verses highlighted in specific ways. Here it is. So if you go to Sahar 2, this is talking about uh, the foolish among you, among the people, will say what has been, uh, what has turned them away from their kubla, um, th which they used to face, and uh, say to Allah blank belongs the east and the west, and he guides whom he wills to a straight path. And thus we have made you a median a community that you will be a witness over the people and the messenger will be a witness over you. And we did not make the, uh, the Qibla, which you used to face, except that we might make evident to whom would follow the messenger from who would turn uh, back on his heels. And indeed, it is difficult except for those whom Allah has guided and never would Allah have caused you to lose your faith. Your previous prayers, indeed, Allah is the people kind and merciful. We have certainly seen the turning of your face of Muhammad towards the heaven, and we will surely turn your Qibla with which you will be pleased. So turn your face towards uh, al -ma uh, Mashid al Haram. And whenever you, uh, wherever your believers are, turn your faces or yourselves towards it in prayer. Indeed, these whom are be, and be, have been given scriptures, the Jews and the Christians, well know that the truth of their, uh, from their Lord and the Kabbal and, and Allah is not unaware of what they do. And if you brought to those who were given the scripture every sign, they would not follow your Kabbal, uh, Kib Kibla nor will you be a follower of their Qibla, nor will they be followers of another's Qibla. So if you were to follow their desires after that which has come to you of knowledge, indeed, would you not be, um, uh, indeed, you would then be among the wrongdoers. And then, of course, my next scripture that I have here is in Surah 4. And it says, um... In 75, it says, And what is the matter with you that you fight in in the cause of Allah for the oppressed among the men and the women and the children who say, Our Lord, take us out of the city of oppressors, peoples, to the point for yourself, for us from yourselves and the protectors and the appoint for us from yourselves, the helper. Those who believe to fight in the cause of Allah and those who believe disbelieve fight in the cause of God. Which, for those of you who don't know, Tagat is actually, um, uh, uh, Tagat is idol worship. It's like, uh, superstition and certain things like that. So, fight against the allies of Satan, indeed, the plot of Satan, and it has ever been weak. Have you not seen those who are told, restrain your hands from fighting, and establish prayer and give zakah, but then when fighting has ordained ha, was ordained for them, at once a party of them feared men as they fear Allah, or with even greater fear they said, Our Lord, why have you decreed upon us fighting? If only you had positioned or postponed it for us for a short time. Say the enjoyment of this world is for a little, and the help the hereafter is better for the fears of Allah and injustice will not be done to you even as much as a thread inside a date seed. So basically it was talking about how not to fall into superstitions when he was talking about, you know, um, to the east and to the west belong Allah and it's not, they, uh, the angels in a sense were stating that they did not make the Qibla you know, and things like that. And so this one is all about the Tadat worship, which is in Shirat 4, which is 49 through 52, which is, Have you not seen those who claim themselves to be pure? Rather, Allah purifies whom he wills. And injustice is not done on them, even as much as a thread inside of a date seed. Now how they invent about Allah and truth and sufficient is, uh, is that as a manifest sin. How have you not seen who... Those who are given a portion of the scripture believe in Jabit, which is superstition, and Tagat, which is objects of worship, and would say about the disbelievers that these are better guide than believers as the as to the way. 
those are the ones whom Allah has cursed and whom um, Allah curses never will you find for him a helper. So those are the those are the things that I'm kind of like you know reading in the Holy Quran about you know um, which direction to face and certain things like that of um, Mecca and various things like that you know. So I mean take it for what you will use your own discretion use your own discernment everything like that. I I'm not Muslim or anything like that. Um, I don't like put myself in spiritual categories or anything like that. At least I try not to because that helps put me on a neutral ground and I don't necessarily have to, um, I don't necessarily have to form to specific religions and I'm not trying to create my own religion or anything like that, but those are the things in which I find not being in the religion. And sometimes that's all while guiding you to very specific things that is kind of like, I'm going to show you an easy way to pray, uh, to pray so that you'll continue to pray um, and various things. And there's even scriptures on there that talks about that you can shorten your prayers um, and various things like that. If you are in a land, you know, where you're traveling through, if you're on travel, various things like that, you can say your prayers in your mind, you know, various things like that. So you've got to take it for what it is and do your own research if that is indeed what you are going to be doing. So um, this is a very small haul that I just figured I'd show you guys, you know, in my in my own spiritual endeavors, you know, doing the, the little flashcards. These were $25, like $25, $26. And then this, um, uh, the the set with the e-pen the e and everything like that, the reading pen was, I think, around $40, something like that. And then the prayer mat was the biggest budget, which was around $70, I think, um, for this particular prayer mat. So uh, I do want to kind of go through, because I'm a, pr I'm a prayer warrior. I like to learn different prayers from different, you know, religions and different groups and various things like that. And I like to learn their holy books and stuff so that when people are asking me, why am I not dressed a specific way or why am I not, you know, uh, conforming to a specific rite or something like that when they do prayers and various things, um, I can back up my claims. I can, I can say this is where I found it in your holy books and this is kind of how I took it. So that's something to also keep in mind when you are studying other religions and you're getting involved in their prayers and various things that you can do for yourself and you can stand up for yourself when... Um, they're going to try to make you submit to very specific ways. So thank you very much for joining me on this little um, haul, uh, showing you guys kind of what I got. Again, I'm kind of sad that some of the boxes were destroyed and, and whatnot, but um, it all still works uh, and things like that. So that's that's more or less what I was looking for and stuff like that. So thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.